here's a biggie or at least something I would consider a big deal and that of course is a missing foundation vent screen if this was a stucco building um, the wall was um, a cement based stucco then I could kind of have a you know I could kind of feel a little sympathy for the owner you know because these screens are difficult to replace but I'm sorry this is wood wood siding all you need to do is screw a vent on the outside of it and you're done I mean realistically there's no excuse for this um, vent being open and uh, to, to let alone that it's at uh, kind of like the ground level or planter level where any animal could jump in here and shoot in there with no problem if you do come across a building that is missing any foundation venting and this would also apply to attics anytime you are missing any of the vent screening or the vent screen um, you need to make sure that nothing is living underneath the um, crawl space or in the attic depending upon where these vents were missing if I came across this right here the first thing I would do would be to give the crawl space or the underneath of a home a full inspection just to make sure you would be surprised at uh, a hole like this um, what it could actually attract I mean let's face it an animal doesn't need to dig a hole if you have a skunk or a raccoon this they come right in here find a nice warm spot uh, um, near your your water heater near your washer and dryer I mean anything plenty of moisture under there maybe you got a nice water leak going where they got plenty of fresh water constantly who knows this is not a good sign so like I said if you come across something like this uh, make sure that you check the um, crawl space for um, rodents or any type of animals and worse than that would be all the the accumulation of the animal droppings or the messes that they make and of course even dead animals let's face it you know you I found found a lot of things laying underneath these uh, crawl spaces just crawling around um, and of course dead animals or skeletons of those animals are just a few of them I would like to point one more thing out even though I wasn't planning on mentioning this in the video if you notice they built a planter here they filled it with dirt and this dirt looks like it's going right up against the building this is not a good thing either if you go around the other side of the house I would imagine there's not going to be a planter like this around it um, remember dirt and wood do not mix um, keep the dirt away from the wood especially if it's wood siding and again stucco that's uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I have came across a property where the dirt is next to the stucco and it doesn't look bad from this view but once you remove the dirt you've got soft stu soft uh, stucco and do not forget that um, stucco especially stucco it will absorb moisture um, something like this if this was a stucco wall I've seen moisture absorb as high as 36 inches above the soil um, if it's wet enough um, for enough time um, it'll suck it right up wood yeah realistically it's probably not going to suck it up very high because you're going to start to see it to deteriorate and once it starts to deteriorate it's going to fall apart fall off um, where stucco might last a little longer so dirt up against um, wood siding is not a good thing